Now let's move on to the next question. So here we have to show that this equation may be written as this equation, where x can be this. So let's see what can we do. At first we have 4 sine power 4 theta plus 5 is equal to 7 cos square theta. Now we have to kind of understand, in this equation here, we have x, x is sine square theta. Now we don't have any cos theta in this equation, so we have to eliminate this in a way. Now, how can we do this? We realize that cos square theta is also equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So we have to know this, okay? Now replace you will have what? 4 sine power 4 theta plus 5 equal to 7 and then here will be 1 minus sine square theta. Now let's try to explain and simplify. You will have what? 4 sine power 4 theta plus 5 is equal to 7 minus 7 sine square theta. Now let's send everything to one side over here. You have 4 sine power 4 theta and then you will have plus 7 sine square theta. 5 minus 7 will be minus 2 equal to 0. Now let me try to kind of uh, rewrite this in a way so we can see clearly what's going to happen. Here are 4. Now I can rewrite this as what? As sine power 2 theta and then power 2 because we understand that by the laws of indices this is the same thing as sine power 4 theta. If that makes sense, right? Now next one will be the same obviously plus 7 sine square theta minus 2 is 0. Now going back to the question, we can see here x is equal to this, so we know this have to be 4x square plus 7x minus 2 is equal to 0. And this will be shown as required. That is part 1 of the question. Okay, pretty easy, not too bad. Now for part 2, hence we have to solve the equation, hence it means we have to use part 1 to solve this equation. Okay, pretty easy. Now for part 2, we know that we know that this is equal to this, so let's continue with this. So right now we have 4x squared plus 7x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now what is this equation? As you can see clearly, this one is a quadratic equation. Now we can solve by factorization, or you can use your formula to solve this question. It is up to you. Now I will try to factorize obviously. Now what is 4x squared? It is 4x times x. And what is 2? 2 is 2 times 1. To get plus 7, I have to have plus 8 minus 1. Now here we have minus, so minus times, times plus, it will be minus, so this is good. So this is good factorization. Again, if you don't know how to factorize, you can always use your formula to solve this. Now this will be 4x minus 1 is 0, so 4x will be 1, and next will be 1 over 4. x plus 2 is 0, x will be minus 2. Okay, great. So now we have this. Again, now we're not looking, we're not looking for the value of x, we're trying to find the value of theta, right? Theta. Replace back. We know that sine square theta is x, so sine square theta will be 1 over 4, and here sine square theta will be minus 2. However, here is not possible if you think, so sine theta will be what? Will be square root of minus 2. So this is not possible, it will be invalid. So we have to go on with only one side of the, of the equation. So this will give you what? So we realize that sine theta will be plus minus root of 1 over 4, which is plus minus 1 half. So for one part will be sine theta will be positive half or sine theta will be negative half. Now for the first one here, as we know by using ASTC, if sine is positive, it will be in the first quadrant and also in the second quadrant. So this will be simply the angle directly when it is positive and this will be 180 minus theta. So theta here will be what? Sine inverse of half 
that will be one. Let's check using our calculator. Here we have to use uh, degrees and sine inverse of 0 0.5 will be 30. That is the first angle, but also we have to find this one, 180 minus 30, that should be 150. Now for this one right here, sine, uh, in sine theta is negative. If it is negative, we'll realize that it has to be in the third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. This will be 360 minus the angle of, let's find the fake angle called y. And this will be 180 plus y. The reason why I'm finding this y thing, it is not real, it is not your answer, is because it is just a method that we can use to solve eventually to find theta. So here theta is this, theta will be this. And because it is negative, we have to go through this way to find those values easily. It is my own technique, I'm not my own, but it is one of the techniques that I prefer to use to find the values of the angle when we have negative value here. First proceed with it, with a proxy angle. I can name this Y, whatever you want to name this. And then we realize what quadrant they are, and then we can solve this. So first, let's find the value of Y. Y will be sine inverse when it is a positive value. So again, it will not be negative. Y will be when it is positive. That will be 30 degrees. Now, Y is not your answer. We are trying to find theta. Theta will be what? According to the quadrants, it will be 180 plus 30. That will be 210. And theta will be 360 minus 30. That will be 330. So as you can see, we will have a few answers here. Theta will be 30 degrees, will be uh, 150, 210, and finally 330. So we have four values for theta for this question involving trigonometry. I think the only tricky part here is uh, maybe this, by the laws of indices, and here we have to factorize and then maybe this, for some people, they might find this confusing. However, this method is pretty consistent. Whenever you have something negative here, we have to know in what, which quadrant they, they fall into. And then we have to proceed with finding, um, this is not your answer, but the angle to help you find the answer eventually. This will be uh, when the value is positive, and then use the quadrants to find your value that you need for your answer. And that will be a question involving trigonometry.